Hey guys, what's up, it's Vicious here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we'll be talking about soft ban and how it affects the Pokemon Go player, um, how it affects, affects you spoofing and how you can actually play around soft ban to make sure that you don't get banned completely out of the game. So if you clicked on this video, you probably don't know what soft ban is. Soft ban, to put it very, very simply, is, an, is a cooldown time that you have to wait every time you teleport or interact with the map. Obviously, I'll be going through, going through the things that um, that trigger cooldown, as well as the actions that do not tr trigger cooldown. Um, and the main reasons you want to actually make sure you are uh, keeping time, keeping track of your cooldown, is because sometimes if you're, well, every single time, if you're on cooldown and you try to catch a Pokemon, or you try to spin a gym or a stop, a Poke stop, um, or try to participate in a raid, it'll actually kick you out. So, or the Pokemon will flee. So if you're trying to sh Shundo hunt and you're on cooldown, you try to throw a Pokeball at that Pokemon, it will run away. Um, and then, of course, you've missed your Shundo, right? Uh, and then uh, it things won't be very good. So uh, in this video, we'll just be going through the things that do trigger cooldown, uh, don't trigger cooldown. Um, at the very end, I'll talk about some uses to play around soft ban and how you can actually play around soft ban with the built-in feature from PG Sharp. Uh, I don't know if there's a built-in feature for any of the iOS uh, different things, but PG Sharp does have it. Uh, obviously, the link to this will be down in the description. Uh, there's, and obviously, I've made other videos on uh, PG Sharp. So, there, if you're wondering how to use it, um, how to download it, it's in, it's uh, on my channel somewhere. You can probably find it. Not too hard. Okay, so actions that do trigger cooldown. So, catching a wild Pokemon, obviously, uh, accidentally dropping a ball on encounter screen, uh, feeding a wild Pokemon with a berry. So, things like Nanab, Pinaps. Uh, spinning a Pokestop, spinning a Pokestop with try again message due to spin limit, placing a Pokemon in one of the gyms, feeding a gym defender with uh, screen radar, gym battles, fleeing Pokemon, and use of gotcha device to spin and catch. Now, these actions will trigger cooldown. So, cooldown, um, Miter is going to hopefully put up a chart here, uh, but essentially, there is an amount of time that you have to wait uh, with the distance that you teleport. So, say you're in. Uh, Say you're in New York City, right? Um, you can't just you can't spin a Pokestop in New York City, and then teleport to like Zaragoza in Spain, and then expect to be able to catch Pokemon there. You actually have to wait two hours before you can do that. Now the reason two hours is in place is it's not a PG Sharp thing; it's a Pokemon Go thing. So it's universal to every single thing that happens in Pokemon Go. You gotta wait those two hours um, because it's a built-in feature that Niantic uses to make sure that you're not cheating, right? Um, but obviously we are cheating. Uh, so you just have to wait at IRL. Unfortunately, there's no way to get around soft banning. Um, what you can do is actually, you can actually just go back to New York City where you, you won't be soft banned um, because the radius won't be uh, large enough for you to be soft banned yet. So if you realize you're soft banned, you can actually just go back uh, to New York City and then, uh, and, then be, and then keep playing. But you can't teleport unless you wait two hours. Uh, if it's over, I think it's over like 1,500 kilometers. Uh, you have to wait two hours. So, uh, yeah, some of the actions that will not trigger cooldown. Uh, teleporting, uh, encountering a wild Pokemon, remote berry feeding of Gym Defender, auto walk, hatching eggs, claiming quests and weekly rewards, catching a reward from Pokemon quests, speed raids, um, which I'll talk about later, exchanging and opening gifts, evolving a Pokemon, powering a Pokemon, or trading a Pokemon, transferring Pokemon, taking snapshots, uh, change, okay, taking snapshots of a Pokemon, actually, yeah, okay. Uh, changing buddy, gaining buddy candies, using items, using stardust, candies, uh, incense, lucky eggs, or star pieces, deleting items, PvP, doesn't trigger cooldown, uh, team leader battles, don't, uh, team leader versus player battle, do not trigger, placing a leer battle or special leer, purchasing coins, changing avatar uh, items and clothes, transferring a Pokemon to switch to activate mystery box, obtaining a free raid pass, encountering and catching certain Pokemon with photo bombs. So those are the things that do not trigger cooldown. Uh, so you can actually do those things while on soft ban. One thing to note is actually um, these actions, the actions uh, that I mentioned above earlier uh, that uh, that trigger cooldown will not re-trigger the cooldown if you're already on it. So if you're already soft banned from being in Zaragoza uh, and you do something else that will supposedly increase that soft ban duration, it's not going to. It's just going to add on to, it's just going to be a hard limit of two hours. So, uh, let's look at the PG Sharp uh, thing for this. Um, editor, you're going to have to edit that top part of the thing. Um, but essentially, uh, it's... it's uh, where the f Oh yeah, cooldown timer, there it is. So, there's a cooldown timer right there in the top left. Um, 
you can see obviously it has all your cooldown uh, things and uh, if you teleport somewhere it's actually my first time using it by the way because I just remember usually okay so if you teleport somewhere right there's gonna be a cooldown in the top left corner for that it counts counts down for two hours and essentially what that does is it calculates how long you need to wait before you can interact with the map um, right there so very useful um, if you have obviously I shouldn't have the gotcha running right now because um, I'll be soft banned so I can't actually catch anything here but if I want to actually so I'm gonna show you me being soft banned right we're gonna click a Pokemon I'm gonna do it and it's gonna flee we're not gonna actually catch it right um, and so if we teleport back to Zaragoza where we aren't soft banned it goes back to zero because the game because PG sharp knows that we're not on cooldown which means if I go back, I can, okay, it's just give it a second, you know. But I shouldn't be soft banned, right? I can spin the Pokestop, I can catch Pokemon uh, completely fine. Absolutely no problem there. So hopefully that really uh, kind of tells you guys what soft ban is and how you can avoid it. And it's very important in this game because uh, one thing is if you get soft banned too much, um, we've had reports of people being banned for being soft banned too much. Um, but I wouldn't worry about one or two offenses. It's usually if they're really blatantly spoofing or breaking soft ban rules um those are usually the reasons why uh, people get banned uh because then they're then then niantic's like hmm we should go look at their account and then they find like pg sharp being used it's like okay well ban them so uh yeah hopefully that clarifies everything um i do get a ton of questions saying oh why can't i catch pokemon uh when i teleport well this is the reason right you're soft banned and the ban part of this is it's kind of scary right but you're not really banned from the game niantic doesn't know you get soft banned uh, unless they unless they check so so uh, yeah like it's it's just a it's just a built in uh, in game thing that uh, prevents people from spoofing too erratically um, and uh, yeah you can actually get soft banned while playing legit if you're in a car and uh, you move too quickly you can get soft banned if you're playing legit so it's not a spoofer only thing so don't worry about that and uh, yeah that's it for the entire video guys uh, I know this one hasn't been this one isn't very long. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to make a PG Sharp video for next month. But uh, yeah, I've been really busy actually. Um, but I've been trying to keep up with the once a week thing. And uh, so yeah, once again, shout out to my editor. If you're trying to join our Discord, it's down in the description below. The merch is out. Um, it's also linked down below. If you want to support my channel, you can actually join at uh, youtube.com slash join slash Vicio5, I'm pretty sure. That is a link. It's also down in the description. If you have any questions you want to ask me, you can come to my Discord. You can put a... Uh, you can put a question in general or user support now and uh, more often than not I'll see it and reply um, If not, you can just comment down below and, and your issues and uh, like the video subscribe and uh, that's it for me guys. Uh, hope you have a good one. Peace out <laughs>